What is going on, everybody? My name is Josh, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be recapping, to my best ability, uh, UMG Dallas. I did not get to watch the event, which I, I, you know, there's nothing I can really do. I went to the beach. Um, I didn't have any, I didn't have any way of watching it. I mean, if I would have, I could have, but I, I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't watch it. But I'm going to recap it to the best of my ability. Um, I got to watch like some matches on Friday before I left. I think I got to watch Envy versus, um, I can't think of who they played first round, but they, like, demolished them. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to get into this here. I'm, I'm not going to go over, like, brackets or anything, uh, but here's the final placements, first through 24th. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about Carnage here. Carnage plays 17th through 24th. It's a good placing, in my opinion. It's a very good placing. Um, if you look at that team right above them, ISO Pro, we played them and won in the loser's bracket round four, I believe. And then after that, we went on to play Excellence, um, which if you look, they're the top in 13 through 16. Uh, we played them in fifth round of loser's, not, not loser's bracket, I, I meant open bracket. Um, <laughs> played them in the fifth round of open bracket, lost 2-1, uh, I believe, and then played them in the loser's bracket of winner's bracket, winner's loser's bracket, and lost again, uh, three one, I believe. Um, so overall, uh, we did pretty good. I mean, I'm proud of the guys. Um, very happy about the placing. You know, you can't, you can't get mad about a 17 through 24 when you're playing the same team twice. Who, who's a really good team? Excellence is a really good team. That's that's Snipe Down and and Cosmo and and Facento and those guys. Um, then I'm seeing Sinister, which is another Am team. Revenge, which is another Am team. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys did really well. Vex, I would have liked to see them place better, but they haven't been teaming for very long, so it is what it is. Uh, a team that did really well was Noble Vanquish, and they actually switched over to just Noble. They left Vanquish um, in entirely, and most won it, surprising a lot of people. Um, they did pretty well, not going to lie. And then my top four, I had TK winning the event. Um, they placed 7th. 7th and 8th. Uh, I mean, I expected them to do better, but I, I couldn't watch them, so I don't know what they were doing. Um, I know Sharp was feeling sick, but it, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I wanted them to win. You can't, you can't always be right in your predictions. Um, I had TK placing first, obviously wrong. I had what well, I have, Envy placing second, uh, Optic third, and I had FaZe placing fourth. FaZe coming out and surprising everybody with a 9 through 12. Uh, I did not expect them to place that. Um, Noble Black was in there. They're an AM team. Stunner's in there. They're an AM team. So I was two off in my final uh, teams anyway. I mean, Optic Nation placed third, and Denial take home the win. Uh, I tried to watch as much of the finals as possible. It was on the ESR for a little bit, and they just seemed like they were outplaying everybody. You know, Envy. Th I thought Envy was the team to beat going into this event, and it ended up being Denial. So Envy's, Envious uh, lost to... Denial 3-1 in the winner's bracket finals. Dropped down to loser's bracket finals against Optic Nation. 1-3-0, uh, I think. I mean, I'm not entirely sure about that. I think it was 3-0. Then they went up against Denial in the grand finals. And they um, had to beat them. They had to win 6 out of a, out of 10 games. They had to win 6 of 10. And they lost 3 <laughs> in a row. <laughs> So they get hit with the second place curse again. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I definitely think that EG is still the team to beat. If you had to ask me, I think EG is still the best team in the game. Um, even though they haven't been playing a lot because, you know, they got family things and things that they got other than Call of Duty going on. But I still think they're the most dominant game team. Then I think you have Envy. Then possibly up the gaming if they're on point, you know, I mean... A lot of different factors. A lot of different factors um, come into these. People were saying that the soundproof booths at UMG weren't actually soundproof, and you could hear the casters through the booths. Um, in S and D, was especially bad because people were sitting in places camping. Be like, oh, now we're spectating study, and he's sitting in post on Warhawk, and you're like, oh, now he's in post. I just heard such and such shout him out. Uh, we have two big things happening. Uh, Gandhi decided that he is done casting Call of Duty. So farewell, Gandhi. Um, I'm gonna miss you. you. You're honestly my favorite caster. Gandhi's the man. Um, he's gonna be missed. I think he's gonna go work for Smite. 
I've never seen or played Smite, so I don't know. Uh, and I think he's competing in Halo 2 uh, when the Master Chief remake comes out, whatever it's called, Master Chief Edition or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and then Golden Boy says he's going to focus on his job at Twitch, I think. That's what his tweet said anyway. Uh, so this might not, he's going to start toning it down a little bit. Um, UMG Nashville is the next announced event. Still waiting on the next MLG event. I might want to go to that one. Never know what's going to happen. I might go. Um, so yeah, that'll that'll do it for this video. I, I mean, like, there's not a lot I can do. I can't recap things that I didn't watch. I can't go over different games. Normally, when I watch the games all weekend, I write uh, various series down that I thought were really good. And I've been looking for VODs, and I couldn't find any. Um, I would have watched a couple series. I would have watched the full grand finals. I would have watched the Optic Nation versus Optic Gaming uh, that happened in the Losers Brackets uh, finals or semifinals. Losers Brackets semifinals. Apparently, it was the closest match of the day. I think it was one round in Search, one point in Dom, uh, one one flag in Blitz, something like that. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, <sighs> that'll do it for me, guys. If you want to leave a like on the video, please leave a like on the video. Uh, tell me what you thought of the event, uh, and if VODs co do come out, tell me which series I should watch, because I'm all, I'm all down for watching some good Call of Duty. I definitely want to watch the Optic Nation versus Optic Gaming match. Uh, I think they broke 100k on stream. So yeah, guys, my name is Josh. I'll see you guys later. Peace.